Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are going to be talking about a zombie. <laughs> Actually, we're talking about a zombie game engine, and this is Armory. Now this is an engine that I really, really wanted to succeed, and... Uh, um... I don't think I would say that it has, although actually for the, the developer behind it, definitely he's seen success. But for the community around it, not quite as much. And this is an engine right from the day it was released. I did a tutorial series on it right away. And the entire idea behind this is basically you take the hacks programming language and you take Blender. And you mash them together and you've got a game engine. It's sort of like a nice successor to the Blender game engine. You develop your games directly inside of Blender, but you can add your game logic using the hacks programming language. It was sort of a match made in heaven. And then some weird things happened, like the, uh, the community funding behind it, the patron funding, it went away. And I think more kind of importantly, the uh, developer behind it kind of switched tiers. He switched to, he still develops the Armory 3D game engine, but instead he focused on Armor Paint, which actually even got an epic mega grant. I've covered Armor Paint on the channel in the past, and it is a really cool program. It's kind of like um, a very affordable successor or alternative uh, to Substance Painter. Uh, it is for doing texturing of real-time models using a PBR workflow, and it is built on top of the Armory game engine. Only catch is, if you are looking at the Armory game engine, you would swear this is dead. Let's go here. We're going to go to the news page. All right. So here we are at the news and you're going to see um, armor paint, uh, armor paint, armor paint, armor paint, armor paint, armor paint, armor paint. Okay. So we're back uh, in 2020 and we are just talking about armor paint. There is no mention at all. And by the way, as I mentioned, they did win an epic mega grant. Nothing in the news about um, any kind of uh, you know, armory update, anything like that. So let's go ahead on over to the com community forums. So here we go, and we're going to find the releases section, and we're going to look in here, and we're going to see the last release was 0 0.5 back in December 20th. That is not a good sign. So no formal releases, no news updates. You kind of started to think, okay, maybe this is dead. But the thing is, it is not. Uh, if you head on over to the, uh, and this is actually where it starts getting a little confusing, you head on over to the uh, GitHub page, which by the way, this is an open source project under the Zlib license, and you'll see actually we've had some releases. 2021.6, so that would be June, uh, there was a release. No release notes though, that's kind of the unfortunate part. You got no clue uh, what actually happened in this release unless you go back and look at the commits themselves. There's no real updating of the documentation as far as I could tell. So basically it is constantly being updated. And the thing is, there are other developers working on it. So extra logics nodes, select node, these were all added in by community members and merged into it. But mostly Armory is being updated for uh, Lubos, the developer behind it, most likely to continue to work on Armor Paint. So it is still a viable game engine. It's just not one I would recommend to most people because quite frankly, there is no documentation out there. If you want to check this out, I did do a tutorial. I don't know how up to date this still is anymore, uh, but uh, it walked you through pretty much everything you needed to know uh, to create um, armor paint uh, projects. You see here, you can do uh, coding in your hacks programming language which you can use to create visual nodes. And the visual nodes, you can do visual programming inside of this as well. It's a very nice concept. And again, I've done a full tutorial series on it. If you want to go ahead and check that out, you can do so. But yeah, so uh, we're talking about all of this. And the key thing is, if you head on over to yet a different site this time, you go to their itch.io page, like so, you're going to notice there is an armor paint entry, which by the way, it's 19 bucks, and then we've got Armory 3D. If you go here, you're going to notice, oh, hey, wait a minute, there's a new release from June, July, August, so uh, there is updates. It is being updated. There was a new release just recently, just like uh, over the weekend. So it's one of those things I want to point out. It's not that there is a new release of Armory. Armory keeps constantly getting releases. The problem is they're not on their website. They're not on their forum. They're not on their webpage. Uh, the GitHub releases do not synchronize with the itch.io releases, and there are no release notes whatsoever. So uh, it is definitely a still very much a live game engine, and I still love the premise behind Armory Paint. I just legitly can't recommend it to anybody 
unless you're really willing to put up with a lot of pain. This is a project, basically, he's working on it himself. There's a few people in the community working on it for themselves. The changes get updated and kind of thrown out there. No documentation. Um, you're kind of going to be having to figure things out yourself. Just one of those things to be aware of. And I don't see that thing ever getting better because I have a feeling the developer is making it way better over here on Armor Paint. And he's developing Armory to help support the development of Armor Paint. And, and that's about the extent of it. So this is kind of a question I've gotten a few times in the past. Is Armory still alive? Yes. Is it well supported? No. Do I recommend it? Unless you're willing to get your nails really dirty digging into the muck? No. So uh, just one of those things to be aware of. If you are interested in Armor Paint, uh, I do do some videos on it. Do do. Uh, great, great concept. Poor execution, and not not in the way it was implemented. By the way, it's it's a stunning piece of technology in the way it was supported. So, if you're interested, there are most recent builds available, including one released just this weekend uh, for Armory, available for download for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I believe it is using the most recent version of Blender 2.83 or whatever we're up to now. Um, uh, no, 2. Point. Anyways, the, it works with not 3.0, but later than 2.8x. Uh, and there are updates available. Just do be aware that when you go to the GitHub page, you're going to have different releases. And when you go to their website, it's as if uh, Armory is uh, mort. It's dead. Uh, there hasn't been an update since December of uh, 2020. Uh, and that's kind of unfortunate. I would love to see them do... Uh, more release notes, more, you know, of an idea of what this engine is up to. It's a great, great concept that isn't really supported. So, uh, again, if you're interested, yes, it is still being developed. There was literally uh, just released. It's just you're not getting your hand held with this one. There's no documentation. There's very little communication. There is a GitHub server, or uh, sorry, a Discord server if you're wanting to get in contact with uh, the community as it stands, but this is mostly led by one person who is mostly doing it for their own work. So one of those things to be aware of. But yep, technically, Armory is not dead. It's just not something I recommend to most users. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.